and welcome everyone back to another video. This video, you're gonna see me suffer for 10 days going through finals week. Today is May 7th, Saturday, and we have our first final on the 12th, and we have two more on the 16th, the day before we leave. I am gonna have to allocate my time right now, while I still have time, to study for all of them. But of course, the first one is first priority. My plan is to have a very, very productive day. I am gonna work on accounting a lot because that is my first exam. That is on the 12th, that is five days later only. Today though, I am gonna be meeting someone for homework at six. So I have to do stuff in these six hours I have. Okay, I'm like an hour into accounting studying, as you can see. I'm basically redoing all the homework, right? And I still don't get this part, like this part on the back. I think I found the reason why it's so confusing. It's because there is an easier way to do this problem, but the professor taught us a much more confusing and harder way to do it. And I don't know why he uses both methods, but he like prioritized the first method because there's a, such an easier second method that just makes so much more sense. Right now, I have to work on my ComSci presentation. It will maybe take like 10 minutes. My presentation for ComSci is tomorrow and apparently one of my team members are feeling sick, so they won't be here. Basically what I have to do is edit this certain page. These italics I can just delete and I can expand more on these parts. Basically it's like, what did we learn from this project? And it's very simple, very straightforward. That took literally like five to 10 minutes. So we're good, we can present tomorrow, yay. Ah, Monday, I'm off to class right now. It's not actually class, it's just for comp sci and it's for a presentation I have. Yeah, I'm really not prepared. I'm gonna figure out what to say when I get there. I know I'm in charge of the intro, like the first two slides, and then I'm in part, uh, charge of the about us page because I've worked on that and the outro, like what we learned and what we, what challenges we faced and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's gonna be easy. Just, uh, you know, paraphrase the slide a bit. Other than that, everything should be fine. And I'm back from class. We are officially done with ComSci and I think a good grade might be in order. And now what we need to do is go all in for accounting because since everything is done now, that is our first final. And we are at Stern right now. This is a random empty classroom. It was like the only one empty at this time. It's seven o'clock and we're here to do some accounting homework. We're gonna redo everything. Homework seven to 15 because that's what's gonna be on the test. We have Starbucks with us. Wish me luck. This is gonna take a long time. I might not actually uh, finish this. I've been here for an hour and a half right now. It is uh, 8.40 p.m. Today went a lot better than yesterday. I did this problem, which I only did once, and I did not do yesterday. And I got it right. It's looking up. I have a chance at this final. If only I could have taken the final at this mindset, like where I'm like super hyper aware right now, I might have nailed it. Right now though, since it's almost nine o'clock, it's late, I'm hungry. I might call it a day. The reason I came to Stern today, I don't really go out to study. I study in my room. But the thing is like sometimes in my room, I would just feel like just listening to music, singing, working on music. And if that's the case, I'm like, screw it. I'll just come to Stern and I'll do my work here. And it seems to be working. And I only do this if I need to go like ultra hardcore study style. Like for more casual studying, I don't need to come here. I'm at Stern again, same setup as like yesterday, homework. I'm gonna study here for like an hour or two and I'm gonna have lunch somewhere around here. Okay, it is nearly two o'clock and I've done a lot of productive work. I'm not done yet, but I'm getting super hungry. I might take out food and eat it here because I mean, I already have a room, want to keep it that way. I'm proud to say that, you know, I am redoing the homework I've done in the past, right? But obviously I don't remember the solutions. And I was having so much trouble with even like redoing it like several days ago. And today I got everything right. Oh my gosh, things are looking so up. Like yesterday and today, my condition is like very good right now. So if I keep this up for the final, I'll be set. Nice. It's from a place called Go Go Curry. This is a medium size and it was worth $19. Kind of pricey, of course. Wow. I've done a lot of work. See the time right now? 
It is 4.30ish. I've been here for nearly four hours. Of course, lunch time included, but still. I do have a bit more, but I am gonna go back to my room because, uh, you know, I wanna, I don't wanna stay here forever. Welcome to the day before the final. I'm gonna solve this one question from the second midterm, which I had huge problems with. And because so many other people had problems with that specific question, the professor was like, I'm gonna make a similar question and I'm gonna put it in the final, which usually apparently doesn't happen. Apparently the final isn't cumulative, but since so many people had problems with that specific thing, he's like, screw you all. I'm just gonna redo this. I'm gonna re-put this in the final. So yeah, uh, we gotta make sure, I gotta make sure I know how to do that. I thought I'd been charging my calculator for the past few hours and I realized it was not plugged in properly. So nah, it's okay. We have over half battery. Even half battery would probably last me like a month. Just wanna make sure that it's on full charge so nothing catastrophic happens. On test days, I usually do carry a second calculator. I feel really bad whenever like during test days, I pull out a second calculator and put it on and someone's like, yo, can I borrow that? I'm like, no, I need it. There was a time, there was actually a time, like my main calculator's battery was super low. So I had my second calculator out and someone asked me the same question. They were like, yo, can I borrow that? I'm like, no, I really need it. And guess what? My calculator actually died on me. So I had to use that second calculator. But I'm like, yo, at this point, you've been in university for like, what, two years now? You don't carry a calculator? when you go to one exam like really but so that's why i started not pulling my second calculator out during exams i just leave it in my bag come on it all comes down to this i'm typing in the answers in my calculator okay i got a number if this is right this is history oh i'm stupid okay but i did most of it right i'm stupid yeah i misread the something all right i'm gonna do part two <laughs> this is stupid uh yeah i misread the problem uh god oh my god Moment of truth. If I get this right, I graduate university. Yes! Go! I'm the best. Ignore the part where we got part one wrong. Just ignore that. That did not happen. I don't know what you're talking about. My basic training is basically over. I'm ready to face the final boss. All training has led up to this moment for tomorrow. I'm gonna be jamming out to my like final exam music. I mean, we ready to punch that final in the face. And I really hope Tomorrow, I don't come out of the exam room and be like, oh, what was that? Because in that case, there is no way I'm getting a good grade for this class. Goodbye. Okay, I'm doing the question that I did not do. Let's check the answer. What is the answer? Oh my God, I am a G. Did I get everything right? Oh my gosh, wait, that is right. That is right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's the night before the test. So guess what I'm gonna do? Cheers. And before you go ham on me, no, it's not alcohol, it's Martinelli's apple juice. Have you ever had that feeling where you're feeling so ready for a test that you're actually excited about it? Yeah, that's kind of me right now. I think I'm prepared so much, I'm actually looking forward to this final exam. I know it sounds crazy. I remember this other time last semester when I was doing another accounting midterm, I was excited to take the test and people called me crazy. They're like, how are you like hyped up to take this test? I was like, I don't know. And I did really well on that. So hopefully this is a sign. Hopefully this is a deja vu because I swear to God, I cannot mess this up. It's 11.20 right now, which means it's 40 minutes before the exam. I think I'm gonna feel better going there early and studying there. I might just hit the road right now. Wish me luck on my first final. I'm back for my final. Oh my God. Okay. First of all, let me just start off by saying, I think I did great. It went so smoothly. So like, I was like super prepared for the exam, right? So we had five questions and some of them was like kind of questionable. Like well, there was one thing where I just wrote kind of like a BS answer and I checked a solution afterwards and I'm like, wow, I would not have gotten that. But everything else was like, impeccable. So like, if I don't get a good grade for this exam, something's up, something's rigged, okay? Cause I feel like really confident. I actually left the room like 15 minutes early. I was that confident. Usually when it comes to exams, I stay till the very end. Cause I keep on like double checking, triple checking everything. But like today I was like super sure of everything. I'll be double checked stuff. Now what's gonna happen is that the timer is gonna reset and I'm gonna start counting down to my next exam today is thursday our next exam is on monday i, I think this is going to be slightly harder because i have, I have uh, two exams to prepare for oh my god how many items 
are in my trash. Why are there so many items in my trash? I don't even remember throwing this much away. Are you serious? 100K? I'm not accidentally deleting my whole PC, right? How, what did I throw away that's worth 100,000 items? Uh, okay, I really hope I didn't delete all my PC. Yes. Yes. Get out of here, son. We're done. back at it again here at Stern. Today, we're gonna be studying EGB or economics of global business. Here's one good thing about the class. We are allowed to bring a double-sided cheat sheet printed or handwritten. You know, before coming here today, I was actually like fearing, oh my God, what if like every room is full? But then here's the thing. I, I think Stern's finals are pretty late because whenever I told people I had my first final yesterday, they're like, what the heck? Like, cause like everyone's almost basically done at this point. All the rooms down this hallway are completely empty, like lights off and all that. Like people should go study at the uh, the library and save the classrooms for me. Why would you want to study here, right? The library is much better. And it kind of seems the library is a pretty good place to study. I don't, I've never done that really. I like just being in my own place, my own space and like doing my work there. But the library just seems like a very quiet place full of people concentrating at once. And it's like, oh my God, am I allowed to make noise here? <laughs> I know there are some people on YouTube who uh, they go to the library to study and they either live stream it or they record it for a very long time, like a several hour long study with me. And people have like asked me to do a study with me. And I was like, hmm, if I do one, it's probably gonna be the library. I don't know. I, I'm not sure how to feel about studying in the library. And like also streaming tends to like dissipate my focus. So probably not. Pretty crazy that some people do that, live streaming in the library of them studying. I solved this thing, the FRQ practice. Honestly, he doesn't give much practice. So most of my studying is basically gonna come from me making my cheat sheet. So here's what happened last exam. I made the cheat sheet, right? Basically what I did was that I wrote down like the model, role model answers on my cheat sheet. I was like, if I get a problem like this, which I knew was gonna come, cause that's like what the whole exam was about, right? I will literally write this step-by-step -step process. And it worked out so well because like the professor loves to dock off points because we miss like a, a word or something. We miss a bit of information. And so I went like the most detailed way, right? Just like doing everything. And I got a really good grade for that exam. That's what I basically want to reenact for this final exam. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get dinner. End of studying today, I guess. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'll do more when I get back to my room. You know, after I eat dinner and stuff, I will do more, obviously. My opinion, I think studying should be like a step-by-step -step thing. Uh, by step-by-step, -step, I mean like a bit-by-bit -bit thing. I'm usually not the type of person who goes like overboard with studying in a day. I don't cram. I like to take it, you know, just a little by little each day, which is why, you know, today we're just leaving after 50 minutes here. I wouldn't go like starving to study. I wouldn't forego sleep to study either. I feel like I study in a way that's like pretty much stress free. For those of you who like study, but like don't know how to measure yourself or like pace yourself. I suggest like, well, obviously don't cram. Don't, I mean, eat well, sleep well. It's like a very lenient style, very, Lax. Two days until the final exam. It is five minutes before 11 a.m. Yeah, we came here pretty early. Later today, I am gonna meet some friends. So, you know, since that's gonna take a lot of hours, I have to do everything before, basically, before that. God, it's so cold in here, like freaking, it's the winter again? I'm gonna try to adjust this um, warmer. You know, this didn't work for another classroom, so I don't think it's gonna work here. These air-conditioned things at NYU, like mid-70s or whatever, that's it. 
That's like the highest it goes. I'm like, what the heck is the point then? Like, geez, I'm gonna freeze to death studying. Okay, mini update. Uh, I did some of the problems here, FRQs. They're kind of questionable. Uh, solutions are meh. Good news, I finished the cheat sheets. I only covered the lectures, and since I wanted to write some pre-written answers for FRQ, it's the only space we have right there. Worst case scenario, if I think it's not too much space, well, I'm gonna have to make another cheat sheet and squish it down, but I don't want to do that because or else it'll be harder to read. Mini update, it is 2.30 right now. I think I'm done. If there's anything else to add, I will add it, but you see that little white spot down there? That's basically all I need to fill. My cheat sheet is done. That's why I'm done with EGB studying. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna eat lunch because I'm very, very hungry. Yeah, we're done with this. Tomorrow I will dedicate to finance because I've not studied finance yet. I think it'll be slightly okay because all I need to know are like a few formulas. And also it's open note because that's how like it's remote. East 90th, oh, East 90th, Wall Street, 955. Huh. But that's three years, that's four years ago. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa, that's... And we're back, back again here in this same place. It's the same classroom as yesterday. I came here to do some finance work. Since we did econ yesterday and my finance test is tomorrow, the first exam at 8 a.m., I decided to just go at it. If I just dedicate several hours today, I think it should be fine. It's just uh, reviewing lecture slides and problem sets. It's open note too. So like in worst case scenario, we do our research tomorrow during the test. I got a drink from Starbucks. This is called the pink drink. And in the photo, there were like strawberries in coconut milk and I got a pale pink liquid. I don't understand why. Like there are two equations that are supposed to give like the same answer, but they don't, they give different answers. So I wanna like go to office hours to solve this issue. And waiting for the office hours took so long, I was able to figure out my mistake before I could even join. All right, cool. Yeah, hopefully I don't make a mistake like that on the actual exam. My brain's basically not gonna be working tomorrow. 8 a.m., that's pretty early for a test, you know? Even SATs don't start that early. Did you know that if your brain takes in too much information, it can literally create a black hole. I'm not, I can't make this stuff up. And I think I'm very coming close to that. Part of me thinks I'll be somewhat okay for tomorrow's final, but another part of me is like, oh my God, what if he like throws a huge curveball? It is nearly four o'clock. I reviewed all the lectures. I'm gonna have to look at the problems, the example questions here. But as for now, my computer battery is kind of low. I mean, I do have a charger, but like still, uh, don't really feel like staying here that much more. So I might just go back to my room. It's not the end of studying, but I am gonna leave Stern now. It is uh, nearly 11 p.m. We are having our finance final in nine hours. Pretty sure it's gonna be hard. There are 15 multiple choice and three free response questions. I will dedicate like at most one more hour because at that point I'm gonna have to sleep. So yeah, best of luck to myself tomorrow. Welcome there. Today is finals day. 
Great. And we leave tomorrow. How great is that? But before we think about leaving, we have to get through this first. Right now it is 6.45. Our test starts in an hour and 15 minutes. For breakfast, I'm thinking of going to like this cafe right next door because first of all, dining halls aren't even open before seven o'clock. And even if it were, I wouldn't have time to eat there and then go to the testing room. There's no one on the streets right now. Oh my. All right. So my plan was to go there. Okay, so the problem is that since it's only 7.04, they're just opened and they're getting ready. So like the bakery's not out. Can I get a croissant please? Oh my God, that's a big one. Literally the only reason we're eating right now is so that we don't have to take a two hour test on an empty stomach. That's literally all. After this, I might eat at a dining hall, like breakfast. I'm gonna prepare for finance just a bit more. There was something I didn't do yesterday night and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna just wake up early tomorrow and do it. So yeah, I'm gonna do it now. Beautiful day. Perfect day to just uh, rest. Set dive one more final, can you believe it? We are done with the finance final. I don't think I did bad. I'm somewhat confident I might get a, a fine grade on it. Like I can't think of anything I did wrong necessarily. So that's a good thing. In about two hours and a half, I have my econ final, my last final. And then we're done. The semester is over. Wow, that's like a bit over half an hour till my test. I'm gonna head out right now because it's a new lecture room I did not visit before and I want a good seat. Apparently, it's gonna be raining outside, which is a fantastic symbolism. So yeah, I'm off. Wish me good luck. Okay, I'm back from my EGB final and I'm rattled right now, I'm shook. Truthfully, I don't know how to feel about it. I think of the three exams I took, this is like the least confident one I'm in. I don't know, there's some psychological reasoning behind this. Literally, the guy recycled one of the three FRQ questions. And by recycle, I mean he literally copied the exact same question and used it in the final exam. I was there sitting like, oh my God, like, do I remember the answers to this? I mean, like, sure, I could like solve it, but like the professor marks it in such a way that if you miss like a word or two, he will like dock all points off. No partial credit whatsoever. Like he's like, oh yeah, if you show your work, yeah, you can you can have partial credit. Nah, man, nah. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna check my answers. I need to see if I did it correctly, like even remotely correctly. Oh no, I did not do it correctly. Oh my God, I did not do it correctly. I don't think so. Okay, so that's five points off immediately. What the heck? I didn't see in the long run. I, oh my God, I answered like in the short run style. That's not good. Bright side, the MCQ questions, almost like actually no, not almost, all of them were recycled. And I'm pretty sure I got all of them right. But that also means that probably all of the others got it 100% right. All we have to do is just hope for the best. We ended the final week on a pretty low note. That's it for today. That's it for actually this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and watching me struggle in this, what? Was it like a 10 day journey? Hopefully you were, you know, somewhat curious about what life looks like for university students going through finals week. It's the end of the school year. That's right. Actually, we should be celebrating. Um, we are halfway through our undergraduate career. Can you believe that? Our sophomore year basically just ended just today. Crazy to think about. Anyways, if you have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you have not already to catch more of these videos and I'll catch you in the move out vlog.